on a song on the wind Looking for space and finding my way back home Happy tear in my eye, not ashamed of where I've been I'm looking ahead now, I'm on the right road Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following my heart Gonna outrun the rain, gonna celebrate the changes On the highway of legends, it's written in the stars gonna Good morning I slept pretty good last night. Um, I was up a little later than I wanted to be uh, transferring the videos over to the hard drive. But I got it done. It was probably about 9 o'clock. Lights out. Uh, it was a pretty peaceful night. We had uh, a little wind came through, but I mean, it wasn't anything severe. But every time I would hear the trees kind of blowing and clicking a little bit, I would kind of wake up and just listen. But overall, a very peaceful night. I'm going to finish packing up. I'm going to finish my breakfast and head out. Plan is to go to Trimpy Shelter today. That's about 12 miles. Uh, it's just now 7, so I should be on track to get out by 8 o'clock or earlier. Uh, I'll do another pan around here of the, of the campground or the area we camped at. The shelter is up the hill from us here, so it's through these trees straight up ahead there. The privy is off to the left of that. Bear boxes are over here, right next to the, the trail. And uh, there were many, many tents all around this area last night. There's still some in the trees over there. There's a tent over there. So we were definitely full house out here yesterday. Across the trail too, there's a bunch of tents. Definitely lots of folks here today. That's my setup. I'm gonna finish getting ready and head on out. Dueling first white blazes here. I'm gonna touch them both. Oh, there's a third one up ahead too. Good morning, AT. Had a great night's sleep. Very thankful for that wonderful place to camp. There were tons of tent sites uh, all around that shelter. So Old Orchard Shelter, plenty of tenting uh, all around. I'm, I'm downhill just a little ways from where I, uh, I camped and there's even some tent sites off in this direction here. So. Plenty of tent camping, good, mostly level spots, which is very unusual. Um, checked the map and I've got 14 miles to Trimpy Shelter tonight. As soon as I get some cell service, I'm gonna call ahead into Marion and get a hotel room for tomorrow night. Uh, I'll be getting in a little late, later than I wanted to because I did a short day yesterday. So I'll probably wind up doing a full zero in Marion on Saturday, so I have time to get everything done, laundry and other chores, um, and rest my feet. Yeah, this stretch has been you know, some bigger days for me. Um, so as soon as I get cell service, I will do that and go from there. We come out of the woods there to this parking area for the uh, recreation area. This is State Route 603. AT goes right across the road there. Down in this direction, to the east, is an area for horses, and there are porta potties there, uh, and apparently garbage. So if you're in need of a porta potty or dumping garbage, that would be a great option. I've only got one more night out here and I don't have really a lot, so I'm not gonna walk down there. It's, it's, a, it's a decent jaunt. I don't know if you can see the blue, the blue porta potties down there or not. Just a little ways down there. Uh, I'm not gonna dump garbage. I'm just gonna cross the road and get right back into the woods. I filled up water just a little ways behind me uh, just before coming out to the road here. So I don't need to do that, even though I'm hearing it flowing strong all around me. Uh, let's see, Hurricane Campground is seven miles, Iron Mountain two and a half, I believe 
I'll be climbing up to the peak of Iron Mountain today. We're pretty darn near it. I was able to get some cell service at the top, just back there. So I spent some time uh, reserving a room in Marion for tomorrow and Saturday nights. I'm not gonna get in until after two, so I won't have a lot of time to get things done, you know, to make it a Nero. Uh, so I'll have to just spend a second night. Um, or I can just kind of bust it out and I don't know. Anyway, I've got two nights reserved. I also reserved the free shuttle that will pick me up at the visitor center, which is just right off trail. Uh, I'll come out right to the highway, pretty much right at the visitor center, I guess. Tomorrow sometime uh, early afternoon, so I'll just wait for the 215 shuttle pickup there. They'll take me right to the hotel. And they have someone that I can call for a ride back to trail um, on Sunday because the free shuttle only runs Monday through Friday. So that's all done, taken care of. I'll call Sherry real quick, caught up on things. And uh, that's the update for now. Got a little junction here. Let's see. Straight ahead it looks like. Boy, there's a lot of Hurricane Mountain shelter straight ahead one mile. That's where I was going to go to yesterday. Didn't quite make it. And I'm glad I didn't. I had a good time camping last night with that little group that was around me. They were some fun people. They were out for a big section. So, okay. Moving on. Power lines running through here. And they always clear a corridor for power lines. Got a nice view out that way. Almost missed it. I got to, I got to right about here. Happened to look left and I went, oh wow. Nice view. And they always will clear a corridor for power lines. Might have some trail maintenance going on up here. Chainsaw's buzzing, let's see what they're doing. Oh, looks like a tree down across the trail. Watching my action here. How are you? Right. Do you mind being on camera? Huh? Do you mind being on video? All right. I'll let you go ahead. All right. When did this fall? I don't know. 
Somebody just said, hey. In the last month. Hey, maintenance. Yeah. Cool. How long have you been doing this for? Well, I think uh, the first thing I did was about 2002. Okay. I've been with the Mount Rogers Club for about four years. Cool. Well, thank you for everything you guys do. It's not easy work. <laughs> and you make the trail much easier for us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Be safe. There was a sign at a junction back there warning northbound through hikers that if uh, there's a high water danger, there's a bridge that's out that crosses Comey Creek. I was with another guy just passing through the area. We determined it's not high water. And we're hoping we were right because that was 0.6 and it's not. So this is Comey Creek Falls. Let's have a look. This is beautiful. So I guess the thing was the bridge uh, over that creek was unsafe so they removed it. And it looks like they're in the process of replacing it but hadn't had a chance to do so yet. So there's a, a blue blaze trail to completely avoid uh, the area that takes you like a mile and a half, kind of reroutes you about a mile and a half around. So I'm glad, I'm glad we did that and didn't take the, the blue blaze. Now this is a newly constructed bridge. See the old one under there is just a, you know, the series of logs that go across. This side doesn't look like it had a railing. This has two railings. Nice. Wonderful. Love the trail maintainers. This is Dickey Gap. I'm gonna sit here, put my feet up in the shade and take my shoes off, sit in my chair. Trail goes right back in the woods here. I'm gonna find a comfortable shady spot to sit for a few minutes and have a bite to eat and relax. I just stopped for a great break down at Dickie's Gap right there. Met a couple gals who were section hiking, three gals who were section hiking. Uh, one gal through hiked 20 years ago. Back on trail, heading out. It is quarter to two. And this says Trimpy Shelter, which is where I'm going to, is four miles. My gut hook app says it's six miles. We'll see. We'll see who's right. Four miles at quarter to two. I should be there at quarter to four. If it's six miles, I should be there at quarter to five. We'll see. Can you feel how hot it is by this video? There is not a cloud in the sky. Thank God for tree cover. The climb out of Dickey's Gap is pretty much constant. Wow. And it's, you know, two in the afternoon, so it's like the hottest part of the day. Wow. Brutal. Oh, I'm not even gonna look to see how much further I have to go. I've only been actually back on trail for like 30 minutes, so I haven't even put a dent in the total mileage for the day. Good news is we will be going down at some point uh, after we finish the climb. Holy smokes, it's hot. Well, here's a much newer sign that says Trimpy Shelter is two and a half miles. Maybe that old sign was accurate and Gut Hook 
was not. Maybe I just didn't, uh, I just didn't update my location. Be nice if I've only got two and a half more miles. A uh, little bit more to the top and then it's downhill all the way. Whew. Wow. It's got to be 85 degrees today. Whoo-wee. That hot summery smell of the pine needles. And, oh, it's just wonderful out here though. Don't get me wrong, I'm not thoroughly enjoying the heat, but Everything is so beautiful. The smells, the birds are sounding nice. The breeze feels good. All right, onward. Oh, I hope this comes out on the video really good. That's the ridge line. Uh, I was just on up there at the top. Came down here and then switched back around. That's just beautiful. Look how steep that is. A little bit cooler down here in the shade. If you can't tell, I'm on the downhill portion of my day now. You can see the chipmunk on that little stump right out there? Move a little closer. See if he hangs out for a minute. You see him? Working on a a nut. This is Trimpy Shelter. It is 10 minutes to 4, and I'm the only one here. Two sided shelter, double decker. Tenting is down there, looks like a decent tenting area. I'm gonna read the shelter log, see if there's any information about any anything I need to know for this area uh, before I set up my tent for the night. Uh, I probably will stay here, but I'm gonna read the shelter log first. Get back to you. I'm gonna stay here for the night. There's nothing weird in the shelter logbook. It's four o'clock. It is kind of early for people to stop um, for the day. And we haven't seen, or I haven't seen anybody on trail today. Really nobody has passed me all day. So I know there's probably a backlog of people behind for whatever reason. Because there were a lot of people still at the last shelter when I left. But it's just kind of odd that nobody is here at four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, there's usually always somebody at a shelter having dinner or whatever. It is point one off the main trail, downhill. So there is that, that people are discouraged from just showing up at a, at a shelter to have lunch or whatever. Um, so I wanna make sure in the logbook there wasn't anything weird. Lots of people stayed here last night. Several people did stop here throughout the day for lunch and sign the logbook, so I feel good about staying here. This is my spot. I'm going to set up the tent here in just a little bit. I've taken my shoes off because my feet are killing me. Oh, and they're so dirty. I think my toes are getting discolored. A little black and blue right there. I'm going to go to the water source and see if I can soak my feet a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and relax. Figure out the mileage for the day. Do all the things I would do in the tent in a little while normally before I get moving and set up the tent. Hi there. Well, a bunch of other people showed up. Um, it's actually pretty full here right now. It's funny, there was nobody here at four o'clock. That's just odd, and I mean nobody. It was 4.30 before the first person showed up, and that was a gal named Crunchy. She's tented right here next to me. Uh, there's three or four other guys down that way from where I am. And there's a bunch up at the shelter. And there's several more, I think, on the, the Point One Approach Trail, the Blue Blaze Trail down here. So we're full house. Uh, it's just now six o'clock. I'm gonna end the day. Dinner's done, chores are done. Food bag is in the bear box. Uh, I've washed up. My hair's a mess. My face is probably sunburned. I haven't had enough water to drink. I need to drink more water. But uh, that's it for the day. 
It was a really good day. The terrain was a little easier than yesterday to walk on. The, the trail was softer. There wasn't as many rocks, which was wonderful. The rocks and roots just really beat up my feet. I've already rolled out and scraped, rolled out my calves and scraped my feet, but I'll, I'll do that again before, before I go to bed. And I'll do it tomorrow morning before I start my day. <clears throat> um, 15 miles today? 15 miles today, 10 miles tomorrow to the partnership shelter and then there's like a point three or something after the shelter is where I'm going to pick up my shuttle at 2.15 to go into Marion. I've got a room uh, reserved for two nights. I realized today, um, tomorrow makes nine days that I've been on trail without a full day off. I took a Nero in Damascus when um, Sherry came up, April Sherry brought Sherry up. So it's been nine days of doing something. I haven't had a day to just sit in nine days. Saturday's the day for that. Okay. Planning on getting uh, laundry done uh, Friday afternoon when I get to the hotel and um, just kind of making a plan for resupply <laughs> on Saturday. There, there's a Walmart real close to the hotel. Um, I guess it's within walking distance. So I'll just do that. Oh, excuse me. It was a hot today. It was very hot today. Probably the hottest I've been yet on trail. And I've been warm, but it was really brutally hot today. That's why I need to drink more water. Um, I think the weekend is supposed to be good weather, and into next week is supposed to be decent too. So, two nights in Marion, a full day off. That's going to be wonderful. Back on trail on Sunday. Uh, I haven't even looked to plan what the next leg is going to be. Um, it'll be similar distance to this, I know. I need to start making making some miles. Great day today. Met some nice people. Enjoyed my dinner. Jennifer and Judy, thank you. I had your butternut, butternut squash curry soup or something. I had that tonight and then I had one of your other curry dishes last night so I've been basically eating your eating your uh, dehydrated food all week. It's been really good. Thank you. All delicious. I gotta go back to, you know, ramen and potatoes and stuffing for dinner now. <laughs> um, Alright, that's about it. Um, it's gonna be an early night, I hope. It's six o'clock, so a couple hours of editing. Hopefully I can get that done early. And uh, I'll get up early. Excuse me. See if I can hit the trail early again. It was quarter to eight, so that was one of the earlier days I've been on trail yet. If I could do the same, it's just a 10 mile uh, walk into the, the pickup point for the shuttle. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the videos of the solo journey north. Talk to you later. Bye. But I've been searching for something real to keep. And in my dreams I got so much to say Out here on the road I see miracles unfold They show me what the singing's all about In harmony we'll find that sweet sunshine I've come so far, no telling where I'm bound Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following my heart Gonna outrun the rain Gonna celebrate the changes On the highway of legends It's written in the stars